So I've been waiting for a LeBron James to drop in my team. And while every single theme set the last couple weeks has basically been setting up for a LeBron to drop, he hasn't, but we did get a fun guy. Take a look at today's packs. They are called the Destroyer Packs. Tell me that just doesn't make you think of LeBron. Last week was the timeless, I mean. Next week has to be Braun, right? I'm thinking LeBron or Kobe drop next week. Let me know what y'all thinking, but let's focus on today's sets. Pink Diamond, Kawhi Leonard, the ultimate fun guy. And speaking of fun guys, here is your joke of the day. What does a Knicks fan do after they win the championship? They turn off their PlayStation and they go to bed because it's simply not happening, guys. Let's keep it going, though. Don't hate me for that. We got ourselves a 95 overall pink diamond Kevin Garnett, which surprisingly, by the way, if y'all can see all the way in the back there, that is a... Let me get it for you. Y'all might remember this from my mystery box opening. And by the way, I'm going to be doing another one very soon, but... Yes, sir. A signed Kevin Garnett picture. So hopefully this picture right here brings us luck in trying to pull this card. I honestly think he's going to be one of, if not the best big man to run right now in the game because he's got insane defense and a very solid jump shot. Then we've got Diamond Kyrie Irving, who offensively is definitely going to get it done. I mean, we remember the Diamond one from 2K22 last year, and he's gotten even better with his jumper this year. The problem is not much defense. And then you've got the Diamond Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard and honestly guys if I don't pull the pink diamond today I'll be very happy with the diamond because they are literally damn near the same thing with all the other cars There was a pretty big difference in this case pink diamond and diamond Kawhi are the same So try not to pay the extra 600k that this card is likely gonna go for then we've got diamond J.R. Smith the Henny God and y'all can see he's got that dynamic duo It's gonna be with the diamond Carmelo Anthony So if you've got that card you might want to consider running that then we've got the amethyst Kawhi Leonard so disrespectful to put the Raptors Kawhi at purple man he should be the best one he won a championship anyways we got the Bruce Bowen he's probably gonna be a very good 3 and D card Amethyst Theo Ratliff and that's pretty much gonna do it for this set now y'all can see we're sitting on a good amount of VC I'm not liking our token number that is pretty much the devil's number and uh yeah it scares me now, I know when it comes to the MT, y'all are going to say, look at HTB with all that MT and he's still going to be opening packs. Here's the thing, guys. I don't have much of a God Squad. I literally sell everything. For example, when they announced Kawhi today, I sold my Jason Tatum and bone stock. I don't know why Tatum goes for so much MT, but mine sold for 900,000 stock. No additional badges, no shoe, nothing. I'll even show you guys my GOAT squad right now because I have nothing that I can flex. I've only got my Westbrook, I got my Bosch, and I got my Scottie Pippen, like three ping diamonds. Actually, I guess technically four, Larry Johnson, but everything else really isn't OP like that. And the reason I'm doing that is people are paying way too much right now for these pink diamonds. I don't have a single pink diamond from the last three Friday drops. Like I don't have Zion, I don't have Vince, I don't have Lillard, I don't have Wilt, I don't have Tatum, and I don't have Michael Jordan. Like I really just have been chilling. But either way guys, I'm looking to change that today. Now of course, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button on that grind to 400K. Y'all been supporting even though I've been taking it easy the last couple of weeks. I promise we are going to be locked moving forward. Forward. But y'all can see we've got 400,000 VC and that's left over from our pack opening that we did do on Tuesday Hopefully this is gonna be enough. Although um, yeah, I'm very doubtful the pack odds are Less than 2% for a 95 plus rated player. Although I think it's even less than that Don't tell me less than 2% tell me what the exact number is is it 0.5? Is it 0.1? Now, one thing I forgot to show you guys is the takeover player for this week, and it's going to be Diamond Jason Kidd. Now, usually when you'd see the name Jason Kidd, you'd be thinking, ah, it's whatever. But it looks like they actually made Jason Kidd pretty good in my team this year. Like, he's got a very nice jumper. His defense is cracked. He's got Hall of Fame glove, which is... Most of you guys know if you play Park or my team, it is the most overpowered defensive badge right now in the game. I will take a card with a Hall of Fame glove before I take one with Hall of Fame clamps because it's that OP. But let's see what our first shake of the day is. And to no surprise, it's gonna be an Amethyst. Can we get the fun guy to kick things off? Nope, that is number 12 from the San Antonio Spurs. Not quite Kawhi, but I'll take myself a little Bruce Bowen. I mean, again, this could be a card that makes my team because there's nothing OP about my team right now. The one spot I'm really struggling right now is the shooting guard spot because 
I'm not willing to pay for Vince Carter, but I really need to make upgrades at that two spot. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments, should I do some lineup reviews? Should I show you guys my God Squad probably in a week? The way I'm gonna do it is, I'm probably gonna try to upgrade my lineup over the next week. Just because the 250k tournament is next week and while I don't think I'm competitive in this game or anything whatsoever, I think it'd be fun to kind of try it on stream or something. So I think that's when my first stream on Twitch is going to be, is going to be for the 250k qualifier. And then when I eventually inevitably lose on it, we're going to sit down, have a watch party and watch all the other competitive guys. So if that's something y'all want to see, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitch as well. But um... Yeah, man, so far this pack opening, starting off pretty timid. We are now on volume three packs, so that's something to keep in mind. You can lock in for Diamond Jokic. There's an Amethyst Granger, and there's also an Amethyst George Gervin. And I'm gonna be honest, this one is probably the worst one we've had out of the last three, because Jalen Brown was solid, but Nikola Jokic, that card literally has zero defense. His jumper is slow on offense, so he's gonna be a good pick and popper if you don't have someone like Bosch, but Defensively, it's gonna get ugly for you guys. Either way, there's not much defense in this game. Show me the shake and it's actually going to be a diamond. Make it Kawhi Leonard and I will not need the pink diamond. Come on, let's go! I'm pretty sure that right there is gonna be Kawhi from the Western Conference, number two, playing for the Los Angeles Clippers. Yes, sir. The Terminator and I'm super happy he's actually back in the league. Have y'all seen his legs? They are beyond thick. I literally thought they were Photoshop before, but this man wants to make sure he never gets injured again and only destroys other people in his path. Now, while I'm sure Kawhi Leonard is a destroyer because he's the Terminator, I mean, when 2K first leaked it and they showed us JR Smith at first, I mean, it was pretty much leading up to damn near being LeBron James. At least I really thought it was gonna be LeBron because we always get an early year LeBron in my team every single year. Whether it's gonna be a masked LeBron for Halloween coming up, whether it's gonna be just a regular Miami Heat, there's definitely some Something for a LeBron in October. I can guarantee you guys that. Charles Smith. I'm wondering who's gonna be the gatekeeper in uh, this box because in volume two, it was Amethyst Carl Malone going for 300K just to lock in Diamond Jalen Brown. Now, I don't think Jokic has as much hype, so maybe he won't have as crazy of a gatekeeper, but like I said, man, y'all be paying some crazy prices for cards right now in my team. I did not think my Jason Tatum stock was ever gonna go for 900,000 MT. That is end game prices, like, I don't know, man. Tatum's good, but but he's not that good. Jumping into box number two. We're kicking things off with the shake already. Oh, this is way better pack look than I think I've had in a couple Fridays. Now, I still haven't really pulled a pink diamond, but I'm looking to change that today. It's going to be another amethyst. As cool as these pink diamonds are, the only one I really want, again, is Kevin Garnett. Diamond Kawhi is pretty much the same as the pink diamond. And then after this, I think I'm going to be grinding for that diamond Jason Kidd. I am debating streaming this weekend, but it is going to be Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, so I'm likely not going to have time, so that's kind of why I said I'm going to start kicking off the streams with a 250k tournament next week. We got the Milk Dud Bruce Bowen. At this point, we might be able to collect a whole container of Milk Duds. What I need to see is a pink color of a different Milk Dud, the big ticket. <laughs> like, he might be the golden ticket in the Milk Dud boxes. But uh, right here, we got ourselves another shake, so I feel like they increased Amethyst odds just to make me feel better and that looks like it's definitely the case another milk dud welcome to the team bruce bowen i gotta see what that jumper is like but again on paper looks like the perfect budget 3 and d card i know the term budget this year is definitely different from last year but at the same time mt is much more accessible this year than it's ever been so that's kind of why everything is a much higher price but yeah, man, for that Bruce Bowen, budget players, I would definitely be on the lookout for that. And I know you guys have been asking me, HTB, when's the no money spent coming? And I'm going to wait until season two. If I start midway through season one, I don't feel like it's going to help you guys out enough for you to grind out and get any sort of rewards and stuff like that. So I'm going to start fresh in season two. Y'all will have some MT and cards in season one, and we'll see how things progress. But uh, right here, we've got ourselves another Amethyst. I'm already tired of them. It's going to be another Milk Dud. Yup, you can see that shiny head as soon as it's walking into the stadium. What's up, Bruce? Okay, see, that's my biggest fear, but I've pretty much accepted it. At some point in my life, I am definitely going to go bald, and people are going to say the same thing about me. But until then, man, 
it is what it is. Now, I wouldn't mind going bald if I could actually grow a beard because that's usually what saves someone's face. But for me, I will literally become a milk dud. Yeah. There's, there's no facial hair happening anywhere here. I know some of y'all probably have that struggle, but I'm not looking forward to it. I've accepted it, but I definitely haven't at the same time. Pack numero nine out of 20. That's another shake and it's just amethyst on amethyst on amethyst. I need y'all to show me something nice. Oh, hold on, that's somebody different. Oh, that's Kawhi Leonard, Never mind. See, that's another hairstyle I thought about, was getting cornrows, but I know for a fact that would look crazy on me. You know how you can use like all the Snapchat and TikTok filters to test out different hairstyles? Well, I did that. I even did that on my 2K My Player, and I was like, nah, there, there's just no way I'm gonna be able to rock it with cornrows. But I did think about getting twists or dreads, so y'all let me know in the comments should I do that. So whatever 2K decided to do this week, they were smart about it. They put enough shakes in the boxes basically for these amethysts to go for cheap and then for people to not complain about get, not getting shakes in their boxes. But I need to see at least one more diamond because all I like that silver glove right there is probably going to be worth more than whatever we pull here. 91 overall milk dud. Everybody cheer. Yeah, he's waiting for all the noise in what looks like an empty stadium. That'd be something cool they could do in future pack openings. Put actual fans and stuff in the stands. I feel like it would look better and build more hype when you open these packs and you get to that walkout animation. It would look so clean, but pack number 14 out of 20. I've been seeing Mamadou Ndiaye. I don't know how to say that name. Billy Owens looks crazy. That man is going through something. Some of the pictures that are being chosen, it just looks like people are fighting some kind of demons, but right there we got Donald Foyle, Frank Brickowski. That is a rough name. Brickowski. No, nah, every time this guy had a bad shooting night, I know that last name was getting fried. Brickowski. <laughs> I've never heard about that till now. Hey, a shake on number 16. My lucky number or my favorite number. Please be a pink one. Ah! <sighs> I'm over the amethyst hype, man. Amethysts have zero hype, and y'all can see that shiny, shiny head again. The rest of this box is looking fairly chalked, and the fact that we haven't really pulled any of the amethysts from the new volume set means we probably can't lock in for the Granger or anybody quite yet. To finish off this 20 box, it's gonna be Craig Hodges. That is tragic. Five Bruce Bowens, man. Five of them. My, my Milk Dud collection is going crazy right now. Now, while I'm probably going to regret it, guys, we are going to run it back, man. But after this, there's no more. I'm not really going crazy on any pack openings until it's either LeBron Raymond James or Kobe Bean Bryant. Because those are two cards I think will make a huge difference when it comes to in-game play. Kawhi Leonard, don't get me wrong, he's going to be a dog defensively. But his jumper this year isn't the fastest. He doesn't really move the fastest on offense. The main reason to get Kawhi is pretty much going to be to get defense and to get threes on the other side. He's a more expensive, better version of Bruce Bowen, except he can dunk. That's all I can really say about Kawhi. So don't let people gas him up too much. You know he's probably gonna go for like a million MT on his first few cards because that's how the game is. But honestly, I hope we get a godly version of Mr. Frank Brakowski because that is the funniest name of all time. It would only make sense if he got a gassed card. From now on, guys, this is the Frank Brakowski movement. In everything you see my team on Twitter, you must say Frank Brakowski. It looks like we're finally seeing somebody different from the first time, and that's going to be Theo Ratliff. So still not exactly anybody from the Volume 3 set, but we're getting that much closer to completing the Destroyer set. All we need now is literally the Pink Diamonds. We've gotten everybody else. Actually, I guess we only got Diamond Kawhi. There is still the JR Smith in here, so I wouldn't mind getting JR Smith or Kyrie. I completely forgot about those two. Is this gonna be it? LOL! Nope. So this is looking like uh, the Theo Ratliff box, but um, I'm looking at my Twitter notifications right now and people are going crazy because I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but the video of Draymond Green actually punching Jordan Poole has leaked. And I'm gonna be honest, it is way worse than I thought. I thought it was just like, you know, Michael Jordan punching Steve Kerr, a normal punch, him wanting to be his own last dance documentary, but no. Whatever Jordan Poole ended up saying to Draymond Green, it triggered him hard because this man didn't just go for a punch. He literally threw a Superman flying punch at Jordan Poole's face. 
that punch really meant something and the fact that that video actually leaked out to the internet means the NBA is probably gonna have to get involved. If the NBA is getting involved, Draymond Green is likely gonna be suspended for a few games. Now, how many? I'm not really sure. There was the case that, I forget which player it was, punched one of his own teammates, Darko Milicic or whatever, and broke his jaw. That guy was only suspended for eight games. Poole still has his jaw intact, so I'd be surprised if it's, I'd be surprised if it's more than that. But again, this is a leaked video. The other one was not a leaked video. It was more just information. We'll have to see, man. But right here, we get ourselves another diamond. Kyrie Irving or the Henny God? If it's the Henny God, I definitely have a fire idea for videos. Eastern shooting guard number eight from the New York Knicks. There it is, man. I was thinking about having to take a drink every time J.R. Smith misses a shot. Let me know if that'd be a fire idea, but that's the dynamic duo I was talking about right there. It's not too bad. It's worth running on a starting lineup if you already have Mellow, but it's not exactly anything OP. Either way, I'm just glad we saw something that's not an Amethyst. Let's keep it moving. There's an Amethyst in the middle. Please do not be from this set. I want something from the volume 3 drop, and that looks like it's gonna be another Kawhi. Not mad at it, because the one thing I will say I like about these Friday sets is that they give variation, so for a budget version of Kawhi Leonard that you guys will have access to right away, it's not the worst option. I haven't looked at his stats, so I don't know how good or bad he actually is, but I would assume that you guys, especially the budget players, are glad that the top names get budget versions. Box number 4, open the door. To the pink diamonds now i do have one big video idea that hopefully i'll have done this weekend for you guys i mean don't worry i'll still get y'all gameplays i know recently i haven't really been doing gameplays on cards and that's just because the cards weren't exactly hype or they weren't really that good that they were worth mentioning over cards that were already out but this weekend if everything goes to plan it is going to be expensive but i'm hoping it's something you guys like i feel like it's something that a lot of people are not taking advantage of when it comes to my team but if it all goes well then it's definitely going to be a banger either way i need this box right here to be a banger bring me the pink diamond kg Y'all have not given me a pink diamond on a Friday drop since Steph Curry, the first one. So, it'd be cool if he changed things up a little bit here. Oh? Oh? Oh. I'm telling y'all, man, based on the time that you open packs, 2K changes who's in packs. We just finished going through our Bruce Bowen window. Now it's the Theo Ratliff corner, man. He's just going to be flying out of this box. I'm calling it right now. We're not going to see a single Amethyst Bruce Bowen in this box. I do got to ask you guys, though, what works for you guys the best in terms of packs? 20 boxes, 10 boxes, or singles? In the past, like, singles have definitely been the vibe. You get super lucky, but... Every time I've done singles this year, they've been even worse than the boxes, so I truly don't know. This box right here definitely isn't too hot, but I'm not looking to get any more VC. I've got the Diamond Kawhi Leonard. I will make it work. I've got enough MT. We will buy that KG. Pulling it is obviously much better because it saves you a ton of MT, especially this year, but like I said, man, it's not that serious. You're not LeBron James. You are Corliss Williamson. Are you related to Zion? It just looks like he'd be related to Zion somehow. Uncle, nephew, niece, not sure what I'm saying. Pow! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, we did it! <laughs> so it's only when you don't care that you shall receive the ultimate prize. That is the first pink diamond we've gotten in a Friday box in weeks. I know on Tuesday, we ended up pulling pink diamond Chris Middleton. That's back-to-back -back pack openings of pink diamonds. But specifically talking about the Friday drops, we have not gotten one in so long. Bless the gods. As much as I want Kawhi Leonard, I need this to be Kevin Garnett's. Oh, this is the first pink diamond in a while. Let me just enjoy this for a minute because I know I'm not going to be seeing this for a good while. Now, if I'm being honest, it really doesn't matter who I get because both of them are going to be dubs. If I get Kawhi, I got to keep him. That is the fun guy from Toronto, and I'll pretty much have to go pick up Vince and then use Vince, Kawhi, and Bosh. But if it's KG, then the sign picture did it all. Who's it gonna be? It looks like it's going to be the fun guy. Now again, I'm surprised it's not a Raptors jersey, but I'm not mad at it. From the San Antonio Spurs, pink diamond, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, that's amazing. 
You definitely love to see that. Ooh, pack opening has been saved thanks to Kawhi. We pulled all three versions of him. Now again, I'm honestly probably gonna keep the diamond, sell this pink diamond, and then use that MT to get Kevin Garnett. I was thinking in my head, hold on to Kawhi and do all the XP, but I have way more XP done than I ever need to do. Did I accidentally just sell that card? That's tragic. It is what it is. I have 235,000 XP. I'm gonna have 100,000 XP over the 150K limit, but we still got some VC here, so we're gonna open some singles. If some way, somehow, I get a Kevin Garnett and complete this set, I will do a giveaway. I promise you guys. That kind of looked like Rui Hachimura. Who was that? Looked like me with a mustache. Huh? There's a shake. There's a shake. Only an amethyst. Please don't be from this set. Please be a volume player. And it's gonna be another Kawhi. So, hey, Kawhi showing love to the people that showed him love when he won that championship. I am not mad at it whatsoever. Welcome to the team, man. I've never seen Kawhi ever do that animation in my life. Ever. <laughs> I've barely seen him smile. Here goes our last VC single. Haven't seen any shakes and it doesn't look like that's gonna be changing. The rubies aren't bad because like, again, I don't have any of these new rubies. I'll open a couple MT packs just to finish it off, but hey man, getting pink diamond Kawhi is definitely a vibe. I'm happy about that. I'll get you guys a gameplay with them before I sell them because I can already tell you guys off the bat, the diamond one will be a much better value one. But if I can hoop with the pink diamond, I'm definitely not gonna be mad. Come on, show me a shake. One more to end off the video, and it's going to be an amethyst. We tried. Our favorite milk dud is back, Bruce Bowen. I decided to open two more singles for fun. Two pink diamonds in one video. I'm not even sure how to react right now. I'm literally stunned. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm just, okay, now I can't show you the messages, but I was just eye messaging, and it looks like we just got KG. Oh, this is nuts. Shout out to the signed picture right there of the big tickets. Kevin Garnett, Kawhi, this is the best pack opening I've had this year, by far. By far. Oh my goodness, we just secured the big ticket. No, let me stop opening packs. I've gotta save this luck of it. You know what, let's open one more single. What are the chances another pink diamond flies out? I know we've already secured the two, but I had to try one more time and it's gonna be the guy that kind of looks like my uncle, Purvis Ellison. Either way guys, we just completed the whole set. Oh wait, we didn't. We pulled Pink Diamond Kawhi and Pink Diamond KG before we got Diamond Kyrie Irving. They are hiding Mr. Illuminati from us. He's going for 183,000 MT. But look at this. I mean, this is easily by far, if you guys have watched any of my pack openings this year, you know I don't get anywhere close to this lucky ever. So y'all can say this is YouTuber pack look. I don't care because I'm actually very happy. Kawhi Leonard, KG, both of them have been secured and definitely expect a gameplay on both of them. How much MT are they going for? Ooh, 600,000. And as for Kawhi, 780,000. I'm telling you guys right now, do not pay for this. You know what? Let me go ahead and let me compare the diamond one and the pink diamond one for you guys. Like, look, the difference is not that big whatsoever and you look at the badges it's not that big both of them have all three key defensive badges but we're not gonna get into that right now i'm just very excited that i actually managed to pull two pink diamonds in one pack opening man that's gonna do it for today i got some bangers lined up for you guys this weekend hopefully you guys enjoy what's on the way it's gonna be something different but i think you guys will like it if y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like for you new viewers sub up on that grind to 400k i appreciate all the love i'll see y'all next time Take care. Woo!